afternoon class. Today we will discuss about formulating the rule and finding the end term using different strategies. But before we go to our new lesson, we have first solved this problem. Okay, let us first read the given problem. Miguel saved for, for his allowance in his piggy bank every day. On his first day, he saved 3 pesos. On the second day, he saved 6 pesos. On the third day, he saved 9 pesos. On the fourth day, he saved 12 pesos. If this pattern will continue, how much will Miguel save on the sixth day? How we will going to solve this problem? So what is asked from the given situation? It is how much coins will Miguel save on the sixth day? But what are the given facts? Miguel saved 3 pesos on the first day and 6 pesos on the second day. 9 pesos on the third day and 12 pesos saved on the fourth day. Before we get the sixth day, we need first to find the answer on the fifth day. Miguel saved 3 pesos on the first day, on the second day 6 pesos, third day 9 pesos, and 12 pesos for the fourth day. What will be the answer for the fifth day. Okay, that's right. It is 15 pesos. Miguel saved on the fifth days a total of 15 pesos. And on the sixth day, how much will Miguel save? That's right. It is 18 pesos. So, what do you think the rule that we apply for this situation. Okay, that's right. Addition. Miguel just add 3 pesos every day. Did you get it? Okay, that's right. Okay, I think you already know how to find the end term and the rule to find the end term. So this time I will group the class into two groups. This will be your group work. Let us first read the direction. Give the next three terms of the sequence and the rule to find the end term. Okay. Okay, let us now check your works. Number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It is correct. Okay, that is correct because in, in this number 1, we just add 1. 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5, and 5 plus 1, 6, 6 plus 1, 7, and 7 plus 1 is 8. So very good. And then, okay, let us now go to number 2. It is correct that the number that the answer is 35, 41, and 49. Okay, that it's correct. And the question is, what the rule that we apply to find it? What? Okay, that's right. The rule that we use is additional. Because 7 plus 7 is equal to 14. 14 plus 7 is equal to 21. And 21 plus 7 is 28. Then 28 plus 7 is equal to 35. 35 plus 7 is 41. And 41 plus 7 is 49. Did you get it, class? Okay. Alright, let us now move on on letter C. Do you think? It is correct that the answers are 10,000, 100,000, and 1 million. 
Okay, that's right. And what is the rule that we use to find it? That is correct. We use putting one zero in each numbers. For example, one. We put zero after the one. It will become ten. And another zero for ten, it will become one hundred. And another zero for one thousand, it will become ten thousand. And another zero, it will be, it will become one hundred thousand. And another zero, it will become one million. Did you get it, class? Okay, thank you. So before we end this lesson for today, please get your notebook or paper and answer this activity. Okay, let us now check your works. Letter A, it is correct that the answers are 405, 1250, 3645. Okay, that's, that is correct. And what is the rule that we use to find, to find the end term? We use multiplication. We multiply 5 by 3. 5 times 3 is equals to 15. 15 multiplied by 3 is equals to 45. 45 multiply, multiplied by 3 is equals to 135. And 135 multiplied by 3 is equals to 405. 405 multiplied by 3 is equals to 1215. And 1215 multiplied by 3, it will become 3,645. Okay, letter B. It is correct that the answers are 32, 64, and 128. Okay, that's correct. And what is the rule that we use to find the end terms? We use multiplication. We just multiplied each number by 2. 2 times 2 is equals to 4. 4 multipl multiplied by 2 is equals to 8. And 8 multiplied by 2 is equals to 16. And 16 multiplied by 2 is equals to 32. And 32 multiplied by 2 is equals to 64. And 64 multiplied by 2 it will become 128. Okay. Last, let us see. Do you think it is correct that the answers are 26, 31, and 36? Okay, that's right. And what is the rule that, that we use to find it? To find the enter? Yes, that is correct. We used addition. We just add 5 in each numbers. Let's try. 6 plus 5 is equals to 11. And 11 plus 5 is equals to 16. And 16 plus 5 is equals to 21. 21 plus 5, it will become 26. And 26 plus 5 it will become 31 and 31 plus 5 it is equals to 36 okay very good class you already know how to find the end term and you already know what we use in finding the end term okay very good class i think you already know how to find the end terms and the rules on how to find the end terms so that's it for today class any question okay if none make an advanced study about place value thank you